Do you want to start a drop shipping business, but you're scared you're going to lose all your money? Do you want to start a drop shipping side hustle that is profitable so you can start saving for that holiday you've promised to take your wife and kids on? Or maybe you're looking to start a drop shipping just to make a little extra money on top of your nine to five job. Well, if that's the case, you don't have time to make the 10 common mistakes that people make when starting out their drop shipping business. So stick around and simply learn the 10 mistakes, which will give you a much better chance of drop shipping success. And everything will be running as smooth as Don Johnson standing on a Miami beach. Now, mistake number one when starting out a drop shipping business is you're going to have unrealistic expectations. Yes, if you're looking at starting a drop shipping business, you will have been on YouTube and you will have seen the gurus advertising the fact that they've made sixty thousand a month, a hundred thousand dollars a month with drop shipping. It's so easy. And that has put your expectation level way, way, way high. In reality, it's going to take you time. It's true, they can make that money. But in reality, it's going to take you some time to learn the ropes. So start with a realistic expectation level. And I would say start with making $200 a month. It's realistic. It's achievable. And the best thing is, once you've done that, your belief level will increase. So you can look at them making $500 a month, $1,000 a month. Every time you hit the next step, your belief level goes up and your expectation level can rise. And in time, you can make the sixty dollars to $100,000 months. It is possible. I've seen it myself. So just set the expectations realistically. And you, my friend, can be on that holiday with your wife and kids that you so deserve. The second biggest mistake people make is not doing enough product research. Your product, you want to be a winning product. So you need to know what it is, how much it's priced at. What is the profit level of it? What are your competition? Is there a marketplace? When I started my digital experience, I wanted to sell sausages on a German Christmas market. Why? Because I'd been in Germany and I'd watched in Mönchengladbach a sausage seller selling thousands in the course of a day. They were just one after the other after the other. A super hot market, that's why I liked it. So do your product research. Now, the next mistake of the reverse of that, and that is then spending too much time on your product research. The thing is, you're back to those videos from your gurus saying niche down, niche down, niche down, and this is where you can then get caught in the paralysis of analysis. You spend so much time, you're wanting the ideal perfect product. You're going so, so far, so deep. And every minute you're spent on your product research, you are not spending it on having your product actually out there making you money. The whole point of drop shipping is to make money. You need a product, you need it out there. So yes, research your product, but do not over research it. You have to make a decision, make that decision, use that product, go with it. The next biggest mistake is not testing your own product. Why wouldn't you do this? Everybody needs to test a product that they are selling. This is your name above the door and you don't want all the returns if it goes horribly wrong and it's a bad product. So test it yourself. Now, sometimes that's not possible. I had a friend of mine a couple of years ago and she was selling beard shapers. Yes, shaping a man's beard. She is obviously not a man, she doesn't have a beard, but she got some sample products, gave them to men with beards, and they tested them and the feedback was great. The best thing was she got the feedback she needed to say it was a good product. They were also able to give her testimonials, which made her setup so much better. So always test your own products. Mistake number five is to just have one source of manufacture. It's so easy, you get caught up, you have your product, you've got someone that's now gonna manufacture your product, the excitement is building, you can't wait, you've agreed all the terms, the shipments, everything, and it's like, yes, you have your supplier. Now you can sit back and relax. You're just going to hand your entire business over to one person. That's never a good idea. All sorts of things could happen. The supplier could go bust, they could have strikes, they could have machining issues, 
you don't know. There are endless possibilities. So always, always, always have more than one supplier. Even if it's just holding them in reserve, you just do not want to suddenly get your product selling nicely and just leave all the production to somebody else that could screw your business. Mistake number six is build it and they will come. The assumption that you build your beautiful website, have it all set up, beautiful products on display and people will just find you and buy from you. The sad reality is that just never happens. You build a website, uh, no one knows it is there. This is one of the key elements, a big mistake. You need then promotion. I always look at it as you build a website, it's like putting a big shop in the desert. You now need to build roads and infrastructure, signposts so people can find you. So promote your website, maybe run ads, whack it on social media. There's a whole raft of ways you can do that, but don't just assume people will find you. People need to know you're there. So promotion, promotion, promotion. Now, number seven and eight are both very similar, and that is all about holidays. You're gonna want a holiday, your suppliers will need holidays, maybe your suppliers shut down for a couple of weeks in a year. There will be nothing worse than someone hitting your online store, looking to buy your product, and you have none available, none in stock. So always be aware that you need stock, uh, particularly when you're going on holiday. It's just simple planning, just plan for those little rises or those little demand spots. And also, the next one is public holidays and special days. There are special days all throughout the year. Uh, take your dog to work day, uh, get your children's haircut day. Um, there is actually, it was a, there's a International Barber's Day, International Hairdresser's Day. I know this because of the Beard Shaper. Um, and lots of different days, um, sausage days. There are vegan sausage days. There is so many different days and you can align your product in some way, shape or form you can probably have one at least twice a month aligned to a special day. Number nine is, and we all do this to begin with, we want to do everything manually. We do it all ourselves. This is not a great use of your time. Yes, understand the system. When you start out, do it all manually. I couldn't agree more. So you understand the process. And in that way, by understanding the process, you can actually make some money and use that money to systemize and outsource everything. That way you're using your management skills, the skills that you have, your transferable skills for yourself, which means you're not spending a ton of time, frees up your time so that when that income is coming in, you can take that holiday with your wife and kids that you've been promising. The whole reason for doing these things. Now, the 10th mistake we see so often and not just on drop shipping, but this is for businesses around the world and that is giving up way too easily. You would not believe the number of people that have been so close to having a successful business, but they quit when they've only got a couple of minutes to go or a couple of couple of days later, it'll have all been fine. So you never know. So do not quit. That is one of the my maxims for life. Never, never quit. It's always too soon. So those are the 10 most common mistakes. And just knowing those is going to help you with your drop shipping business. But how do you get an even bigger advantage and that is by getting the best digital education there is today. I'm very proud to be part of uh, the Six Figure Mentors, Mentors and the Digital Experts Academy and we provide the best online training there is and there is a specific training particularly for drop shipping that will blow your mind. Now how do you access that? Click the link below and that will take you to a four video free training series by my mentor and good friend Stuart Ross. In these four training videos he explains a whole raft of different opportunities online and drop shipping and from watching those you can then take a trial and actually see how the system works. Take a 30-day trial they will allocate you a consultant to help you tell them you want drop shipping that's where they'll guide you to and then you can see exactly how it works. That is the best way to get an advantage and actually understand exactly how to make dropshipping work for you. So click that link below and I will see you in the next video.